Okay, Brenda. Um, actually, there are four students who applied for this class, but at last, only you showed up. So basically, we are today one-on-one -on -one class. All right. And、um, first, let me give you a self-introduction. 给你做一个自我介绍，好吧？ Um, my name is Wang Zhes. That's in Chinese, but I have an English name. My English name is pretty normal, you know. My name is David. You know, there are so many famous people whose names are are, are David, but right. So this name is given by my English teacher back in my primary school. Okay, so I took it until now. Okay. Um, and do you know in Chinese my family name is Wang, right? Wang. Do you know this character? What did it, what does it mean in in Chinese? Um, my king. Yeah, very good. Like king. So I like my family name too because I I like to be a king, and um, also I think、uh, I'm very suitable. 我很合适 because I believe. I have a king in in my house.、Um, who is that? Let me show you.、Um, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. So wait a minute. I have to share all my screen. Like yeah, like this. I think this is my king because because I I believe that among all the animals a tiger is the king, so I think this is my tiger. Okay, so do you think this is a tiger? Um, a little.、Bit. A little. Okay, but but normally people tell me that this is not a tiger. <laughs> They tell me this just a a little version. Of a, of a of a tiger, right? So、uh, okay, I I admit that it is only a cat,、uh, and this is my pet.、Mm, I call her Yaya, okay, because she is a girl. Do you have a a, a cat or, or or a dog in your house? I don't have a cat or dog, but I have a big chicken. Oh yeah, so so there are your it, it is your 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 pet, right? It is also your friend. And you can see, my cat is always hungry. So sometimes she's so hungry that she stands up to ask for food. Okay. So why is she able to stand up? That's because she has very short legs. You see, her legs are very short, so she、yeah. can just stand up, right? And、um, but now she she has eaten so much that she has become like this. A little bit fat, okay, and and I got a lot of weight, 太重了 okay, and um, but、uh, um, I like her still very much. And、uh, just now, I have given you some information about me and my cat as well. So this is a kind of writing that is called、uh, informative texts, okay, informative. We call it information. Right, information 叫信息嘛 ，so informative text 叫做信息型的呃、uh, 文章 ，right? So basically, these texts are those that give information. Note, information basically is truth. So I will tell you about everything true about me and my cat, Yaya. I will not tell you anything that is wrong or made up. For example, I would not tell you that Yaya is a cat who can fly. No,、uh, Yaya is from Mars. No, okay, these are science fiction, right? These are these are fake. But I but informative texts basically tell you information that is true, that is real. Okay, so these are informative texts. Today we're gonna learn about these kinds of texts and to take our first step towards a good writer. Okay. So ready to have some fun? Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's move on. First, let me show you this paragraph. 
This is about me, okay? So, Brenda, could you tell me?、Uh, could you first read this paragraph for me? Yeah. Okay. Me. My name is David. My cat's name is Yaya. Yaya is a beautiful cat. She is always hungry. Yesterday, I went to the shopping mall. There were not many people who went shopping. I live my, with my parents, who cook delicious meals for me every day. My mom is good at cooking soup.、Mm. I like vampires because vampires are so cool. I have brown hair. Most vampires are evil and live in darkness. Some of them are pretty kind to people. Yeah, you are doing, you're doing very well. Okay, nicely done. And now I'm going to ask you a question, Brenda. Do you think this paragraph is a well-written one? From your side, from your opinion.、Mm, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Why is it pretty good? Because it gives a lot of information. Yeah! Wow, that's great. Because that it gives a lot of information, and plus. Mm, I, I don't think it has made any mistakes, you know, any grammatical mistakes, right? But from my opinion, this is not a very good article. Why is that? Because you see, we have a title. We have a title called "Me." So basically, this passage is, is trying to tell readers about me, right? So first sentence tells that my name is David. Okay. This is great. This is kept acceptable because this is telling about me. But suddenly, I I began to talk about my cat. My cat's name is Yaya. What? What? Okay. So that is a little bit related to me, but but not very related, right? But then I had started. Yaya is a beautiful cat. She is always hungry. Like I'm. I started to talk about my cat and and forget about forget about me. Okay, just to read about my cat. Right, and suddenly I began to talk about my visit to shopping mall. I I began to describe the shopping mall. Oh, this shopping mall is very crowded. Oh, and then I started talking about my parents. Oh, and then I started talking about my parents. Okay, crazy, 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 One time about yeah yeah, and then about then about the shopping mall, and in the end, the craziest thing is I started to talk about vampires. What? So, this is not a very good、um, context. Even though, even though it 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 is pretty good because it's it, indeed, as you said, Brenda gives a lot of information, right? But not a perfect one. Okay, so. We are going to、um, trying to write some、uh, texts that that are better. Okay, for example, first something to notice: a good composition. So, what is composition? Composition 就是一篇文章，就是一篇作文 right? So basically, it should have three parts. Okay, remember the first part is an introduction. Like I've said in the in our beginning, I I I I'm gonna give you a self introduction, right? I I told you my name is David, blah blah blah, and、uh, to write a paragraph, you should also begin it with an introduction. So that was the beginning, and the, and the, finally we need a conclusion. Conclusion is the ending of a passage. Okay, so like um. Like yeah yeah, well a cat needs to have a head, right? The head is its introduction, and he also she also needs a tail. A tail means the conclusion, the ending, right? So do you think、uh, the yeah yeah has has to had a big head or a lo- very long tail? <laughs> No, no, but because because it has a huge head, a giant head, it looks very weird, right? And if the tail is too long, maybe it is would be a little difficult for her to keep balance. So the beginning and the ending would not be very long. Okay, they would not be very big in the size. So what is the major parts of an essay of a of a passage? 
That has to be body paragraph. Body paragraphs is the main part, like the body of the cat. Okay, uh, I, I think my cat is ha is having a pretty big body, and uh, in terms of uh, the, the the writing, that is good. Okay, and uh, body paragraphs can have only one part, one body. Ah, 就一个一个中间的段落是可以的啊。But uh, but of course it has to be bigger than the introduction and the conclusion. 然后也可以呢，我们有好几个段落。比如说，我们可以 have two body paragraphs. We we can have three or even four. Okay. So Brenda, do you know what is a paragraph? It's like a few sentences. A few sentences that um that is. That is in one one group, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, is there a paragraph that uh, contains only one sentence? No. Basically, not very many, but actually there is. Okay.、Yeah. So, a paragraph is one sentence or a number of sentences that are based on the same idea. Notice, to to form a paragraph. These sentences have to be based on the same idea. All right.、Mm -hmm. So now let me give you a small task. Now we are going to finish the paragraphs. There are three paragraphs here, and the passage is about me. You can see the first paragraph is about what? Um, like your name, how old you are, and stuff. Well, like, like, like the basic stuff about yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, so Brenda, could you give me the true information about this? Yeah. My name is. Brenda. Brenda, I am. Almost seven years old.、Mm, almost seven years old, and I have. Black hair. Black hair and、um, dark brown eyes. Dark brown eyes. Wow, that is beautiful. And、uh, this okay, this paragraph is finished. Not so difficult.、And、then the paragraph two. So, what is the paragraph two about? Who you live with. Who you live with. Okay, so Brenda, your turn. I live with. My, my, my grandma, grandpa, mom,、mm -hmm. dad, and little brother Hunter. Little brother Hunter.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So 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 is、uh, how how how、uh, how old is he? Ah,、uh, he is two. Oh, he's two. So you're basically his elder sister, right? Yeah. Yeah, and I I don't think you have rem、uh, you've mentioned your、uh, pet, your chicken. Oh、uh, yeah. Yeah, I I I think it is is he your family member? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean I mean I, there's only one left. The other three just somehow escaped. Yeah. Okay. Somehow escaped. Wow. It They were all cute at the beginning, but then after they grew up and ate a lot of, they、uh -huh. become fat and、yeah. and then <laughs> the remaining chicken. I think it's a girl. It didn't even lay eggs. It、no. should lay <laughs> eggs. Yeah, yeah, that that's so true, Brenda. I I I hope that Yaya can give me a lot of you know baby cats, but、uh, she's not able to to have babies. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Okay. Good. Now let's finish the paragraph three. So, what is a paragraph three about? Your my friend. Yeah, your friend. So, do you have a good friend? I mean, I have two, and they're from school. One, I think I have one from something like kindergarten. Okay, so maybe can you tell tell me your about your best friend? Oh,、uh, is a boy is a、uh, or or a girl? I think a girl. Uh, all of them are girls. Okay, so、um, can you name name one of them? 
Claire. Claire. Okay, so my friend's name is Claire, and uh, tell something about her. Um, she she usually goes first in hide and seek. Uh huh. Goes first in hide and seek, so she's good at playing games. Yeah. Yeah. And um, is, is there any anything other other thing about her? Um, oh, oh, take care. Okay. Um, okay. What else? What else? What else? So it might maybe what does she look like? Uh, is she tall? Um, about the same height as me. Uh huh. About the same as you. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and uh, so she, so is she's a, the, 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 as tall as you, and she is pl uh, good at playing hide and seek. Yeah. Okay. So do you all do you guys always you know play hang out together? Yeah. Okay. But we, but we usually don't have enough time to do anything very good. Oh, so so the the, the time is not that enough, right? Yeah. Okay, so basically just uh, chatting with each other and and hang out for for a little while, then you will have to go home or 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 do homework. Um, we don't do homework after that. We continue for like two more hours. Oh, two more hours. That, that is also pretty long, I, I believe. <laughs> yeah, the whole entire school is four hours. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now, thank you so that I can give, um, know about uh, you, you, Brenda, and uh, your family members, and of course, your friend, Claire. Hmm. Yeah. Good. So these three paragraphs all give information. It is an informative text. Okay. And next, since a paragraph is one or more sentences based on the same idea, we have to notice also that every paragraph begins on a new line. So they do not mix with each other. They have to separate it, right? Yeah. So do you know this? Um, animal? No. No, no I, I think it's not a very famous animal. It's a very unique kind uh, that lives in Australia. Uh, the Adaliada. And um, numbats. Numbats do you know kangaroos. Kangaroo. Okay. Kangaroo, they also live in Australia and they have small bags, you know, in, in front of them so that they can hold their babies. So numbads is, yeah, also one kind of that um, animal. Um, so here we can see our task is to, oh, sorry, to write an answer from the box on each line to tell, uh, to, line to tell what the paragraphs uh, are about. There are three options. So Brenda, could you uh, read the first paragraph for me? A numbat is a furry Australian marsupial. Yeah. Uh -huh. It has a pointy nose, stripes on its body, and a long bushy tail. Great. So this paragraph tells what numbats look like. Great, what numbats look like. So it's like this. Mm. Yeah, it's cute, right? Yeah. No, not, not very big, but very cute. Yeah, looks like a little squirrel. Yeah, like a like squirrel, right? I want... I... More striping. The, the stripes, right. Yeah. And the paragraph two? Yeah. Can you please, could you please read it? Numbats may only eat termites. An adult numbat eats thousands of termites every day. Yeah, so what are termites? 
Do you know termites? Um, those stuff that live in the very, very tall tunnel thingies. Yeah, they're a little bit like uh, maybe ants. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 uh, a little bit, you know, um, uh, dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. So this paragraph tells what numbats eat. What numbats eat? Yeah. They they can say it's because they have short legs, so they can stand up on 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 their feet on like yeah yeah. Okay, paragraph three, Brenda. Numbats are endangered. This is, they are endangered because too many are killed by foxes, cats, and bushfires. Yeah. They are also endangered because they have nowhere to live when their forests are cleared. Great. So this paragraph tells why numbats are endangered. Yeah, why numbats are endangered? They're endangered because foxes, cats, and also bushfires can 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 cause their death. Uh, so so they're kind of like endangered. Okay, so let's notice the note below down below. Uh, very small characters in this report. The first sentence in each paragraph lets the readers to know what the paragraph will be about. So we can see each paragraph begins with a sentence that tells the readers about the, 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 ba the basic information, the major information of this paragraph. Mm -hmm. So which me it, it means that if we are short in time, we don't have much time, we can just uh, you know, skip the rest of the paragraph and only read the first, par uh, the, uh, the first sentence to know the main idea of this paragraph. Okay. So these are called topic sentences. All right. Uh, now let's kind of talk about another kind of animal. Do you recognize this animal? Mm. It's a kind of bird or something. Yeah, a, a kind of bird. Maybe a little bit like an owl. Huh? Mm. So his name is Tawny Frogmouth. Frogmouth? Yeah, Frogmouth because it because its mouth is like a like a frog's. <laughs> um, so basically, it also lives in Australia. So Australia is a is a very magical place because there is many you know strange animals. Maybe it also eats flies. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we can read the paragraphs. Okay, so Brenda, uh, what are the tasks now? No. Um, sorting the sentences into the correct paragraphs. Yes. So there are also three paragraphs, but the 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 sentences below are all you know mixed in order. So we have to divide them, right? Divide these mm, sentences when we have to mm, classify them. Mm -hmm. So let's read the sentence one by one. First, it's, it has a wide beak like a frog. Which paragraph mm -hmm. does this sentence belong to? Paragraph one. Paragraph one, perfect. What it is and what it looks like. This is the tawny frog mouse. Do you think that the, the, the mouth is like a frog? Kind of. <laughs> I think kind of, yeah. A little bit similar, right? Yeah. And the second one, second one, the tawny frog mouse eats meat. Uh. Paragraph two. Great. Paragraph two. So meat. I don't. I don't know what kind of meats are that, but maybe we can know it later. The third sentence: When it stands very still, it looks like a tree branch. Um. 
Paragraph one. Paragraph one. Yeah, I I think it, it looks like a tree branch because of its color. Yeah. yeah. So similar to the tree to to the trunk. So sometimes we cannot even you know tell there is a frog mouth there. Maybe it should close its eyes. Yes, the eyes will will tell people everything. And this fourth one, tawny frog mouths are often killed by cars. Paragraph three. Paragraph three. Yes, how it is killed. And the fourth, uh, the fifth one, the chase flying insects into the headlights of oncoming cars. This is a pretty difficult one. Some students might make mistakes. Mm. Paragraph three. Paragraph three, or paragraph two. Uh, <laughs> three. Yes, that's three. Okay, be more confident. You can. So. Why do you think it is about how it is killed, not what it eats? Because like it goes into the cars and then it gets killed. Yeah, because right, that's... right, right. So the important thing about the sentence is, is about it with flying insects into the car in uh, headlights. So basically, they would be killed by the cars, right? The the, the important thing is not about the insects. Okay, and the, the next sentence, it has mottled brown feathers. Paragraph one. Paragraph one, right. And the next one is, it hunts at night for insects such as moths, as it was lizards, snails, and worms. Paragraph two. Paragraph two, see it. Yeah, so, so now we, we would know what, what is the meat that uh, Tony Frogmouth eats. Yeah, right. They're from insects, lizards, and snails, and worms. Yeah. Wait, snails? Yeah, snails. E Maybe it'll have to spit out the shell. Yeah, I, I think I think that the, the bird knows the trick to you know break the, the snails um the shell and then eat the, the meat inside. I don't think they would eat the shell too. I mean, it would probably be like a crunchy cracker. Yeah, crunchy cracker, right. Good if guess. If they can step on it and move. Oh yeah, step on it, yeah. And the next one, it has big yellow eyes to see in the dark. Paragraph one. Yeah, of course, what it looks like. And the final sentence, the tawny frog mouth is a nocturnal bird. Uh, one? Yeah, one. It's a basic introduction. Do you know what uh, nocturnal means? Um, like wake up at night. Yeah, wake up at night and hunt at night and then sleep uh, at, in, the, in the daylight, right? So yeah. could you give me some more examples of nocturnal, uh, nocturnal animals? Mm, bats. Bats, right. Bats and rats. Rats. Yeah, rats. And actually, I think cats are also nocturnal animals. But uh, after we, you know, raise these animals into our pets, they no longer are nocturnal animals. They they and like they, and they and they be, and then they be, and then more of them become uh -huh. become like going like going to sleep in the night. Yeah, because people all go to sleep, so they have to sleep. And yeah. and the cats are like, oh, oh no, where's my food? Where's <laughs> yeah. my toys? Where's yeah, my, yeah. My... yeah, the cats want to, you know, chase some rats or, or, or some small animals at night, but there are not so many. Well, maybe they'll get out of the house. Okay. Yeah. If you if you allow them, right? If you you know open the window and or open the door, they would basically definitely go out. Or but we are not sure if they would come back. So. Or maybe if there's glass somewhere and you already closed all the windows, which but the windows are the only things made of glass. 
maybe yeah. it will smash right through. <laughs> yeah, smash. Okay. Far enough. Yeah. Okay, good. So the next uh, challenging, a little bit challenging task, you see the first sentence in each paragraph usually lets readers know what the paragraph will be about. So Brenda, there are in, in total uh, 11 sentences here. Could you pick three from them as the topic sentence at the first sentence um, of each paragraph? For example, now paragraph one needs a topic sentence. Which one is the most uh, suitable one? Mm, the tawny frog mouse is a nocturnal bird. Right, perfect. And uh, the paragraph two needs one. Um, the tawny frog mouse eats meat. Hmm, yeah, it's meat. It's basically about what it eats. And uh, the third paragraph, how it is killed. Uh, tawny frog mouths are often killed by car. Good. You've answered all of them correctly. So, Brenda, could you tell me some similarities of these three sentences? They all talk about the tawny frog mouth. Yeah, actually, they all start with the word tawny frog mouth. And uh, for the rest sentences, they do not share this feature, right? They are, they are like it, they, it, they. They are using pronouns. So basically, we don't use pronouns as the first sentence in the paragraph. We use the exact word, the tawny frog mouse. That would be the important part. So now we are going to we are going to uh, study some pronouns. Pronouns are used to replace nouns, right? Like I, we, you, he, she, they, them, him, and her. Basically, because the nouns have appeared uh, several times, so we would uh, replace them with uh, these pronouns. Mm -hmm. We would not write the, the, the passage like the, the tiny frog mouth, the tiny frog mouth, the tiny frog mouth, the tiny frog mouth. They're like repetition, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're like, boring. Yeah. Blah, You're blah. like blah 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 over and over, but why can't you do blah blah blah? It is blah 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 <laughs> blah. It blah blah. blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's blah blah blah. blah, blah. blah. Yeah. So, uh, Brenda, <laughs> let's finish this small paragraph about Daniel and his mice. So, read it for me and uh, fill in the blank. I'm going to Daniel's after school to see his pet mice. He has two mice. Yeah. The mice play on the wheel. They climb their tower. They climb their tower, yeah. They snuggle together in their bedding to keep warm. Uh -huh. Daniel uh -huh. looks after them. Wow. He loves them. Hmm. And the final one is a little bit tricky. He loves them because it uses loves. So we don't say they love him, right? Uh-huh. And uh, do you have do you have any mice uh, before? No? No. I mean, I'm planning to get a guinea pig for my birthday. Yeah, guinea pig. That's cute. So remember, don't let them, you know, one, if, if there's only one, that's okay. But if there are two, maybe there are would be, uh, be some fights. Uh, with each other. And uh, did you see the picture? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there are two mice. That, that, that looks like a playful fighting. A playful fighting, right? I, I don't think they're actually fighting because one of them is, is running on the wheel so crazily and the other one is just suffering. <laughs> <laughs> it's just hanging there. Yeah, so pathetic. I hope it looked, it looked like it just it, it looked like it just running so fast it doesn't even touch the ground and it's just <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it just going crazy like 
<laughs> put me down, okay? That is right. Maybe the white one did it. Yeah, the white one. The white one is trying to kill the yellow one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> kill it so it can have all of its food? Mm, I don't know. I don't know because I've heard that uh, some some rats, if, if they don't like each other, one of them would would try to eat eat the other one. And that would be a little eat. bit horrible. <laughs> eat? How can they eat each other? They just you know, you know they fight each other. They bite each other, and one of them would you know you know would would get hurt, and then would be dead. And uh, and the, the and other one. the other one eat. would just eat stuff and eat stuff. Yeah, eat, eat, not, the eat the flesh, eat the flesh. Yeah, so uh, the mice are, are, are a little bit crazy. Okay. But I, I think yeah. these two are good, uh, are good friends, right? I, I don't think they're fighting yeah. against each other. <laughs> maybe, maybe the white one's just doing it for fun. Yeah. And to watch some hamster kicking around. Yeah. I, 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 maybe he doesn't even be uh, aware that he, his friend is suffering. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's just like, la, 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 la. I'm yeah. going on a Ferris wheel. La, 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 la. <laughs> going to happen. Yeah, nothing's going to happen. Right. Okay. So since we're going to be writers, maybe we can write a small paragraph about a friend. And uh, you've mentioned Claire earlier. So could you tell readers what Claire likes to do? Uh, remember to use pronouns. Okay. Okay. Claire likes Claire likes to to build to build houses out of mm. little houses out of sticks. Oh, to build houses, little houses out of sticks. So what does she do exactly? Um, first she gets a bunch of clovers and then puts them on the ground. Uh -huh. Then she then? grabs some sticks. Finally, she builds the house. You're very good. So basically you're, you're starting each sentence with she because you've mentioned it clear the, in the first sentence. And then I think you've did a, you've done a great job because each sentence would begin uh, with a time sequence first, then, and uh, uh, finally. Finally. Yeah. Oh, okay. Finally. Yeah. That's great. So another small challenge to write a pronoun from the box in each space of the sentence. Ned is my friend. He lives, he lives next, next door. door. Yeah, because because I think Ned is a man uh, is a is a name for a boy, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Hey. Oh, okay. So he lives next door, and the second one, my mother is a nurse. She works at the. Hospital. She works at the hospital, and uh, finally, Tim and Kate are my cousins. They live. They in live in Dubbo. All right, not difficult. And the fourth one, a little bit long, right? He or they in a space. Remember to use a capital letter if the pronoun begins a sentence. So Brenda, could you live this paragraph for me? Lions. Live in groups called prides. Yeah, prides. One male, the boss of the pride. He guards his territory. Yeah, so what is a territory? Um, like a group. Uh, it's not actually a group. It's actually a, a part of a land. A land that uh, he owns, right? Mm -hmm. That's a territory. Okay, go on. The females are the hunters. Mm -hmm. They hunt at night. They hunt at night. They usually work as a team to kill their prey. Yeah, so basically we know that lions are the relatives of cats, so they all hunt at night. Yeah. Young male lions are forced out of the pride when they are around two years old. They form groups 
they form groups to hunt together. Mm. When a young male is big and strong, he will take over a pride for himself. Yeah, oh, perfect. All of them are correct. Have you seen this movie before? Yeah. The、uh, you know you know the 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 which, which version you you see this this version or the、um, cartoon version?、Mm, I think I saw. Maybe I think I saw both. It goes. Oh, you see, you've seen both. Which one do you think is better? Cartoon. I don't、oh. like. I don't like the real life versions because、yeah. like it's just boring. Oh yeah, some some yeah some stuff. Some friends also told me that they don't they don't believe that the real life version is、um, anything better、uh, than the the the, the, the original one. Oh, okay, but the the but the sound but the 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 effect the the audio effect is is quite good, I believe, audio and visual effects. All right, and、um, just now you've you've already you know written sentences、um, with the sequence sequence, and some words and phrases can help to sequence these events. So Brenda, could you? Um, sequence the four sentences for me.、Um, the first thing we did was go for a swim.、Mm, the first thing we did was go for a swim. This would be the first sentence, and then we climbed around the rocks to look for sea stars. And、yeah, then we climbed around the rocks to look for sea stars. After looking for sea stars, we had our picnic lunch. After looking for sea stars, we had our picnic lunch, and finally, we left the beach when it started to get dark. Nicely done! Great job. So we can form these sentences into one big passage called "A Day at the Beach." The introduction would say, "Like last Saturday, my family and I went to the beach." So. People know that this is about the beach visit, and then、uh, we would talk about the events one by one. The first thing we did was go for a swim. Then we climb around the rocks to look for sea stars. After looking for sea stars, we had our picnic lunch. We left the the lunch.、Uh, we left the beach when it is started to get dark. And the conclusion can be written like we all had a great day. So can you circle all the? Phrases and words that are sequence events.、Um, first. The first,、uh, of of course.、Uh, is there any in the introduction? About time. Yeah. That that would be last、uh, Saturday. Okay. Yeah. And the first thing, and.、Uh, Uh, then, then, yeah, and after looking, after looking, and when, <laughs> because it started to get dark is a is a, a time phrase, right? Hmm. Hmm. Not so difficult. Okay. So.、Um, Basically, we're talking talking about a particular kind of uh, uh, informative text called recounts. Okay, so, so basically, recounts tell about events that have happened. The the beach visits has happened, so it's it's, it's also a recount. And、um, here there are four sentences, Brenda. They are all about、uh, the lizard in my yard. Have you seen lizards before?、Mm. Maybe in zoos.、Mm, I don't remember. Oh, you don't remember? Yeah, they are basically the relatives of snakes. They're you, you can see they are they're pretty like snakes, but、uh, they have legs. But snakes do not have any legs. So here would be a challenging task 
four sentences. Mm, we can we have to write them in the correct order. Yesterday, I asked mom what blue tongues eat. Yesterday, I asked mom what blue tongues eat. Mm -hmm. She said that blue tongues eat snails and beetles. Yeah, blue tongues eat snails and beetles. She gave, she gave the answer. And then? This morning, I looked for snails and beetles in our garden, but I didn't find any. This morning, I looked for snails and beetles in our garden, but I didn't find any. And the last one is? The blue tongue lizard must have eaten them all. Yeah, the blue tongue lizard must have eaten them all. So it's like a detective, right? Trying to find snails and beetles, but failed. And then uh, the, the writer concluded it the, the murderer must be the blue tongue lizard. Yeah, it actually has the blue tongue. Yeah. So um, first, let's locate some uh, time expressions in these sentences. Mm. This morning. This morning. And um, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, they're obvious, and uh, they're a pronoun. She. She. Yes, yeah, she and. And... There's still uh, only one, only one left. She and... Yeah, that's not a very obvious, I believe. That's in the third uh, sentence. The blue town lizard must have eaten them all. Right? Yeah, yeah because th that here them are, are, is used to refer to beetles. snails and uh, beetles. Yes. Okay. So this would be a small homework, okay? I would not ask you to, to write this uh, recount now because the time is not, not very enough. But uh, remember, this recount is, would be about something that you did. Okay. So basically, uh, this recount has to have an introduction uh, a body paragraph, or maybe more than more than that, and of course a conclusion. And uh, the word bank might give you a little bit help to start your recount. So, so, so remember, recount happens when, now, or in the future, or in the past. Past. In the past, yes. So all the all the verbs we use would be the past uh, in, in the past tense. All right. Okay. And uh, now let me show you Yaya. I, I think I think Yaya is here. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh. Um. <laughs> Yeah, those are so so less legs are so short, and she's so fat. Oh, so fat. <laughs> she used to be very small and cute, but now she's grown so big. You see his, you know. I surrender. <laughs> maybe maybe ask your mom to raise a cat. I think cats are cute. They, you, you don't have to walk cats, right? Because they, they don't need to walk, but dogs need yeah. to. Say hi to Brenda. Say hi to Brenda. Hmm? No, 
Look at Brenda. Okay. Ah. <laughs> she also likes to bite me sometimes. Okay. She's trying to escape, so I would leave leave her. Okay, Brenda. Um. So today, have we have you have you studied anything? Have you learned anything about、um, informative texts? Yeah. Okay. So I hope you can try to write something more after class. Maybe finish this paragraph, this this, this passage, and you can send it to me. Okay. Okay. So see you next time, Brenda. Bye. Bye, Brenda. Bye bye. Bye.